せーの。でもそんなんじゃダメ。もうそんなんじゃほら。心は進化するよ、もっともっと。Now I know I told myself I wasn't gonna talk about Stephanie Freeman again. But right now, people need to know what's going on. Someone recently just sent me something about Stephanie Freeman, and the video was of her getting kicked out of the house. Not kicked, but dragged. Like, Dragged out of her house. I'm not even kidding. Bro, on another post, she sent what she thought was an apology or an accurate apology of what she did. I'm gonna read it for you, man. It says, and I quote, I learned from my mistakes. It's your job now to stop with the cancel culture. I'm trying to grow to be a better person, and I can't do that when I'm getting constant hate. You guys already got me expelled, banned from going, to, <laughs> banned from going to my dream college. And my family is extremely paranoid from all the drama. You people should know better and be better. Two wrongs don't make a right and shouldn't be up. And it shouldn't be up to you. To <laughs> oh my god, I can't even read this because it has so many spelling errors. <laughs> I really cannot read this, but you guys can take a screenshot and read this for yourself, man. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I would read anything Stephanie Freeman would put out, but it's just every time when I read a word from her post, from her quote unquote apology, I lose a brain cell every time. And from the making of the last video, I have lost a lot of brain cells. Sorry, I can't read this, but you guys can take a screenshot like I said before. Take a screenshot, read it for yourself. Now, on to the video of her getting dragged out of her house. God, I know it's wrong to show this video, but God, it's what the people want. It's what the people want to see. There were no comments on the post, but it, it was just there. A lot of people saw it, it was just there. Like the whole thing was just a desert. It was just a blank slate. Everybody just scrolled past it and said, no comment, she deserved this. <laughs> I mean, hey, Steph, look on the bright side. At least they gave you a moment of silence. Oh, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. They actually went all out and contacted her future college that she was planning to go to. I'm sleep. Like, bro, they're really out for her. Like, no one's after the boyfriend. No one's after this guy, Jeffrey Hume. God. Okay, answer me this. How do you go from the drama to crying to actually getting kicked out of your house to posting Bible scriptures afterwards? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm a Christian myself, but... It just doesn't make any sense to post Bible scriptures after like what you caused. Like it's just making the situation even more worse. You're just keep you're giving people something to you know post about. Like for real, man. Just get off social media. Listen to what everybody's telling you, bro. Besides all the death threats, these people are actually trying to give her some advice. Just get off social media. Like people are actually still wondering why she still has a phone. I mean, she's 18, yeah, she could probably pay for her own phone, but she needs to get off social media entirely, because whatever she posts now, people are still going to find a way, like, to attack her. Like, I'm not on her side, I'm just saying, dog, that's what they're doing, and when her, like, just keep posting and posting and posting, she's literally just giving them bait. She really wants the attention, like... This doesn't make any sense, man. That's not even close to being the only thing left. She got jumped twice. I've seen two videos of her getting jumped on Twitter, bruh. Have a fucking hair. What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Nah, ain't no getting up. You gotta get your ass up, cause she finna drag you. Drag her ass, Leah. This is what she wanted. Get the fuck out of here. 
Whip her ass, Leo. Keep beating her. Keep beating her, Leo. Drop her ass again. Right down. There you go. Beat her ass. And I think it was this other person that was talking about her on TikTok. If y'all are on Twitter, you're already aware of these two people making a racist video on TikTok because they're just so edgy. Twitter found out about it and got them expelled in less than 24 hours. We love this song. Now, like, obviously that's problematic, but like, suburban kids thinking that they're above everything is not anything new. But the main thing that got me pressed was like using the n-word like fried chicken not having a dad all that that's like so old you know like hello we are not in 1979. she did make a valid point so every kids do really think they're like above everything especially kids like these oh geez you want to know something else she threw her friends under the bus too that's amazing she's snitching on everybody but wait where's jeffrey hume oh wait he got terminated from the WWA4. Well, I don't feel bad. All right, hopefully I'm done talking about Stephanie Freeman, but considering what's going on now, I'm pretty sure things are gonna get even more and more juicy by the time like this is supposedly over. So I'll see you guys later. 